Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going home, home, home. The first step of me going home is almost done. I am sorry, it's just cold and when it's this wind and cold, my my eyes water. So I'm coming up to pick up my visa, my Schengen visa. And next weekend is going to be step two that you're doing. I'm so excited. It's so cold and look at Mickey. His nose is so red. And his father. No red nose on his father. So we're here. I'm very happy. So yeah, I'll record again when I'm done. So now we need to go and book, pre-book flights and get travel insurance. So that is the next appointment we are going to. It's so cold but you know what, I'm not too bothered because I'm gonna be in summer in a few days yes so you guys I'm gonna take you along all the little steps we're doing until we go to South Africa until I land okay guys ciao ciao Hey guys, welcome back to the Troposki Fan channel. Guess where we are? Guess where we are? Where are we? You can say that. We are in Bulgaria. You, you are so excited to say it, so I'm um, getting you. Mickey. Yeah. And his papa. Sofia, Bulgaria. 
So, woo, it's freezing. It's freezing. Um, we're looking for a place for exchange. Babe, no. But they are probably, they are probably I want to take a photo in the middle of the street and be like a touristy person. So the streets are not um, busy yet. Hello? No, come take a photo of me. I'm sorry because it's still dark. So um, we are now no Mickey. We're waiting for Mr. D to come back. We quickly went to the bank. Uh, we need to exchange and his Bulgarian money in order for us to pay. Shops and wherever we're going because they do not take euros. So we will quickly wait in here and then we'll go for coffee and I need to use the bathroom. So we're going to pee. And we still have like about two hours, two and a half. Having a hot chocolate and a cheesecake. And Darko is having his hot chocolate also. And there is his coffee. Look at how beautiful this place is. came from this lovely coffee shop they're so good like a bakey so good so pretty now make you sleeping at least trying to sleep we're going inside the embassy Guys, we just left now. With, uh, I spoke to the ambassador for like 30 minutes, and I don't know, babe, I forgot. And I feel like crying, tears of joy. Like, hey guys, so I'm so happy. We just left. And I spoke to me and Darko were speaking to the ambassador. Chatting. You know, South Africans are so warm. Guys, I feel like crying, like tears of joy though. It was so nice to talk to a South African and to reminisce and to talk. Like she's telling me what to do. Uh, like, go eat your pies. Go eat the biltong. I'm so happy. So, anyway, we're done. And now, me and Miki are gonna be home in Mzansi in about two weeks. So happy. So we'll come and pick up his visa in 10 days time. So excited. Bye guys. That's the last, second last step of this whole vlog. I just want to tell you guys something. Eh? I don't know if I should be speaking it in Kosa or Zulu. But let's let's say let me say it in English. We are in this country. Ne? I have no, I don't think I've mentioned where I am. If I did, I did. Okay. Anyway, my point is, you know how a lot of people in the world look at my continent like 
we are so hungry we are so poor which is true there are parts that are really people are hungry people are poor and like everybody looks at our, at our continent and our countries like everything is so run down <laughs> hey where i am right now i'm looking like i am in Kobo Kobo. sorry for, for people that are in Kobo Kobo, but i mean like this is just a big village che akukho kwanto ayisambathe ayisambathe nansi ikhandri yonke into imbathile yonke into izindlu ziyawa so abantu bazenza ngcono for nothing anyway i'm done gossiping in my language if you understand you understand if you don't sorry i sorry i'm not translating that part but honestly you guys what i'm seeing here and i am in the capital town so i don't want to hear hey, this and this mm -mm. but anyway i'm going to do a proper vlog i'll try and show some parts of this country you know in the vlog and stuff but this is just what i wanted to say and wanted to share which i found very shocking this is not what i was expecting i wanted to see you know when you're in europe you see those european buildings but everybody goes Thank you. After we will see if I'm full. We'll keep it. Okay. This one. Thank you. You wanna walk with him? Right. Wait. But he he's awake. Then he gets tired. Like now, you see his body. At least he's got the space to walk and show him. We... What? 
just like 12 kilos. Yeah, so I thought you said 30. I was like, huh? 12, because he was 10 when we were last waited. Okay, guys, so we <laughs> looking in we just finished ordering um, we are at a we chose a traditional Macedonian restaurant and the food here is amazing I think this is the same place we came with our friends once like last year end of last year I just don't remember but I think it's the same thing so anyway we are doing the challenge so what we can get uh, for our date for 800 dinars is our minimum and the maximum is 100 dinars so that is about 200 rands if i convert it to my money so when our dishes come we will show you guys what we ordered and then at the end we'll show you the bill um we we got um food drinks so we are currently drinking pepsi they did not have like regular coke and they had coke zero and then this other brands that's water which was pepsi yeah the restaurant is very beautiful the ambiance is so cool the only thing I don't like, like we are seated at, in a, at a non-smoking zone. As you can see, non-smoking zone, but the smoking area is like indoors and it's quite big. But all the smoke, we actually are smelling it. Because the doors are wide open, so I can see the point. And this is one thing I really like here. Most restaurants are like that. He wants to sleep. He just ate. Cold. So here's our two dishes already. What is this called? Uh, manastir. You can open chicken, it. chicken manastir. You can open it. Too. So it's cheese and chicken. I think in mushroom sauce. And then this is Darka's favorite meal all the time. <laughs> With the bread, let me come like this. Looks so amazing. And this, Ooh, and here's the pizza bread. bread with the garlic. How is the bread? This is so good. So good. So good. We are almost done. We actually sit just for Odarka is ordering another drink and the food was amazing. How was the food for you? Very good, the meat is very good and 
what I like. I like when the meat is properly salted. So how is, how is the, the meat for you? It was very, very, very good. I like it. I enjoyed it. So uh, I will tell everybody that they need to visit this place here. If they go to find this restaurant. Uh, the place is called Soul Kitchen. And you can find the menus in English also, you can find traditional food also, but you can put it in the world and you can enjoy it. It's very really nice. They yeah, are they, yeah, quick, they talk yeah, English. The service is great. The service is good, they talk English. It's fine, it's nice. So, I also love everything about the place. What what is the bill? Is it more than? By how much? I don't know. I don't know exactly now the currency. That's That is like how much? Two hundred and fifty or almost. Quickly. Hey guys. Quickly. We are done. <laughs> <laughs> the date was great, but we spent more than 200 rand. How, how much did we go over? I think we went over by 100, gonna, not 100 rand, like 50 rand. Yeah, maybe 50 rand. More than we were supposed to. So, we were supposed to, in, in dinars we planned, we wanted to do a thousand dinars, but we ended up going over by how much? 200 dinars, right? You having your bread. And I having the chicken. And that would have been then, not the pizza bread, right? Yes, yes. Then it would have been the challenge would have we would have is it passed or what? What do you call it? Yeah, it's we failed. Yeah, right now we failed. So anyway, guys, ciao. Look at this Valentine's Day. Varajonjo. Anyway, guys, that's the end of vlog or video. That's the end of our video. Mickey is sleeping. It is now, what's the time? 8 o'clock or 8.30? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, imagine, in the evening. But the good thing is, Mickey didn't take his nap this afternoon. So, this is really it. He's going to sleep and enjoy himself. He's very tired. So, we'll catch you guys. Thanks, hi. Bye bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye bye. That's rude.